What's up guys? Good day to all of you and welcome to this another tutorial of ours of DCJ Heaven. Today, we will be doing Let's go! Adobe Premiere Pro click new project then let's name it Radial Blur Tutorial click browse select folder then click OK now right click on project panel new item click sequence Choose 1080 24 FPS and then hit OK. Now let's go directly to our clip. This is the shot taken when uh, this is the shot taken riding on a bike. All right. So for this one, we will not be needing the audio, so you can click and link, click the audio and then delete. Same for the copied clip where we will apply the radial blur. Right click, unlink, click the audio and then delete. Okay, on our second, on, on the copied clip, we will right click and apply the radial blur effects. Click replace with after effects composition. Here, let's name our project Bike Riding Before Oh yeah, just, just Bike Riding For the After Effects project Click Save Okay Now in our Effects and Preset Type Radial Radial, radial Blur This guy here And then drag into our video clip See the difference On our video See the blur is already there. Okay. See we have your effects, transform, audio, and also here the radial blur, wherein it has the compositing options. Now we will add mask masking that is click ellipse tool. Drag the Drag the area where you want our video to have a clear view. And then in our effects radial blur, click plus sign. So it would automatically add the mask that we have added. So as you can see, the inside part is the one blurring and the outside is not. So click inverted. Alright. Now as you can see here, the boundary between the two is so obvious. So what we can do is, so what we can do for that one is in the mass effects, the mass feather, say we will put 200. Okay, now not so obvious. We'll put back to zero and see the difference. Yeah, so obvious. Let's put back 200. All right. And then here in our blurry effect, we can reduce the amount, say around, that is, that is with 0, that is with 2, that is with 3. Oh, that's 4. Type in 3. Okay, type in 3 and hit enter. Now let's save our file. Save. Alright, and then let's go back to our Premiere Pro. Just... Just minimize the After Effects program. Alright. Now we have our Radial Blur. See? This is the one 
the clip without the radial blur and this is the clip with the radial blur so now what we will do is to click sequence and then hit render into out this is our before This is our after. Now let's apply radial blur also for this clip. Let's follow the same steps. and here's the after hello guys if you have reached this far thank you very much for watching and for supporting our channel hope you've learned something out from this tutorial and apply it in your future videos if you have any suggestions write them and comment down below if you like this video please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified in our next tutorial and travel videos. Thank you very much. Love ya. See ya.